Once upon a time, there was George and there was Bess. In the year of 2005, they produced, among others, Fern. Fern, in turn, met Bryn in the year of 2009. It has to be said, Bryn was not her first partner. They had a handful of young, a right handful. One of them was Rush. Now, five weeks ago, Rush was introduced to Ziggy. Ziggy is a show dog. Ziggy has sired three litters of Bedlington Terriers, and one of those litters was big. Today, we're going to see if that introduction was fruitful. Rush is going to have a scan. Before we scan Rush, let's just have a quick look at what might be happening in Rush's beautiful hairy-hearted body during her pregnancy. Three weeks into pregnancy, the embryo and surrounding fluid produces a swelling in the uterus approximately the size of a pea. Yet a mere seven days later, the swelling is the size of a golf ball and a piece of cake defined by ultrasound. Pregnancy then continues through to week nine, 63 days by the book, though anything from 57 to 69 is not unusual. Here we have the flight console of the USS Starship Enterprise. Heaven knows what most of it does. A screen to watch the image. There's the printer to produce hard copy. This is the transducer. This is where the ultrasound is generated and read. While an X-ray is a picture and can be recognized as such, a scan represents a thin slice of the body and changes with every movement of the transducer. High frequency shortwave sound passes through the body, creating an image in shades of gray, defined by the water content of the tissues it passes through. 100% water registers black. An unborn pup consists of an embryo or fetus floating in a sack of fluid, a gray blob inside a black ball. To put it scientifically is what we're looking for. Predicting pup numbers can be risky. Rush definitely has three because we can see all three in one view. She may have four, possibly five, or I may be counting the same ones twice. We'll just have to wait and see. Watch this space. Excellent. 